what's possible in this world. Who decides what's possible? What inspires us to break free from the perceptions we have of what we are capable of? What makes us fulfill our dreams? What if we lived on the moon? Maybe the most courageous thing I've ever done, I phoned the, uh, the PR manager of, um, of the Swedish Space Council. My name is Michael Jenberg. I'm an artist from, uh, from Westeros, and uh, I've heard that you're going to the moon, and I would really like to put a red house on the moon, and uh, I thought maybe I could join you. You can just imagine how quiet it became in the phone. I mean, the guy went like, oh, oh no. <laughs> Not today, you know, like that. All of a sudden, there is a new opportunity in the world, and that is to get people on the whole globe to be able to join together and do projects. We saw this as a perfect example of joining up together, doing something that nobody ever expected that private people would, would try to do. Put the first house on another planet. Putting a house on the moon is really, it should be impossible. But through crowdfunding, through internet, through being enough individuals going together, proving this, that means that we can do anything. The house will be red with white gables. It will be three by two meters in the base and it will look like a typical Swedish red cottage. That small red house can be the symbol of prosperity, of thinking bigger thoughts, breaking new mental barriers and actually making this planet a lot better even though it's fantastic today because we can make it even better actually. It's obviously possible to land on the moon, it's been done before. What you need to put a house on the moon is to be able to make this house transportable in a very compact form. The idea is to place a small package that's supposed to grow up into becoming a house with, with gables and, and so forth. Naturally, this small size going to a big size is a challenge. Only because of the dimensions, just unfolding these things that should be folded in many, many ways uh, and, then, and then making them look like they've never been folded before. We have been working with materials of the right thickness that we, for, for, as, as for the real house. Uh, so we know how to fold it in this package and we know that when we shoot it away, it's gonna, it's gonna land correctly. What we do is we build the spacecraft that the moon house is attached to. We deliver that all the way to the surface of the moon where we then deploy the moon house uh, and we bring it there, take pictures of it and provide all the necessary services for it to be able to deploy itself. The Follerefer painted house is deeply rooted within the Swedish soul, that it actually gives our country a kind of international identity. The people who work with Follerefer has a mission to preserve and develop a cultural inheritance. To us that means that we both have to have the respect for the tradition, but also the courage to face the future. And what would be better off than to put the first red house on the moon? Anyone who hears about it, has an opinion about it. It's impossible to hear about the moon house and think, okay, that was interesting, let's talk, talk about something else. It's everyone that hears about it will think, okay. First, they'll think, ah, that's impossible. And then they will think, hmm, what sort of furniture do we want to put in the house on the moon? And suddenly, everyone's going to the moon in this house. Space is a personal thing. It's not just about space science or, 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 or steely-eyed, uh, you know, practical applications of space technology. Um, you know, it's about a frame of mind. Mankind belongs in space uh, with everything human, including art and, and playfulness. We will place the house on the moon uh, at, at our first destination called Lacus Mortis, which translates to Lake of Death. The reason that we go there is there's a very unique feature that's only found there on the moon. It's a skylight. It's 100 meters across and 100 meters deep. And this feature could be uh, the potential site of future human settlements on the surface of the moon. Uh, it's a cave underneath the surface. So what better place for a house to be uh, placed on the moon than a potential site for humans to then settle the moon in the future?
I think it has a great potential to inspire a lot of other people, to get them to think about space and uh, living in space one day and oh, can we put a house there even if it's very kind of rudimentary house this time, that means that we can be able to live there also soon. Everything is possible, as long as we set our minds to it. Every time I see the moon, I know it's going to happen. The moon house is not mine, it's not the engineers, it doesn't belong to anybody, it belongs to all of us, it's our house. And every single dollar brings us 25 meters closer. If enough people join, we can actually make it happen. Let's put our house on the moon.